Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk to you about how to mark the strings of the instrument in case there are some works that uh, ask you to play inside of a piano or you just want to experiment. Normally we do it by means of these stickers. We use, uh, there are plenty of variety of stickers but I use this one. I will put a link in the description in case you want to buy the same. And I like them for several reasons. First of all, because it has different colors, so you may need to mark different um, um, sections of the inside, or maybe you want to use them to mark different works. Uh, so you use uh, uh, red, col red color for a work and yellow color for another work, or for a variety of reasons. So this is very useful. And it, they also have um, the proper amount of glue, and this is something very important. So, uh, there are several places inside of the piano where you can locate the stickers. So, uh, for instance, you could use the A-graphs, all this line over here, to locate the stickers. Or you may use the dampers here or here. And if we go to the upper reg register, then you don't have dampers nor A-graphs, so you will put them on the bridge. These are the three main places. There are a number of different options for stickers. For instance, I have used this model mm, during years. And um, I don't use it anymore because it is a little bit big. And when you put it on the, on the strings, you have to do it in a certain way in order not to produce any undesired sounds. There are a number of people that use them in this way, which is very comfortable to put them but it could uh, lead to some problems when you play the note because, because sometimes it is not doing it now but it sometimes could happen a little bit of vibration of passing that is really undesired. So this is the reason why I stopped using this but if you want to try you may also, you may also do it. There are another ones also that I stopped, I stopped using these uh, very tiny ones because uh, of the of the glue that they use that is uh, extremely soft and i always end it with a soundboard covered with stickers but i want to explain to you also how can you do in case it happens that one sticker gets away from the string and falls into into the soundboard so it may happen that a sticker just goes to the soundboard and if you have uh, tweezers then you can just try and rescue it. It is quite simple. If you don't have any tweezers at hand, you may use a clip like this and a sheet of paper and with that you can do it as well. So let's drop it again and then with this sheet of paper and this clip It is quite simple. This is the way in which I put the stickers on the dumpers. As I told you before, you can do it on the dumpers or on the egg refs or even on the strings. It depends on where you have to play. So if you play here, it will be very good to locate the sticker here. But if you play here in the string, it will be better to put it here. If you play very close to the end of the string, then you put it on the egg refs. If you have to put them on the dumpers, and we certainly have to do it many times, there is a way that I'm going to explain to you. The first thing is that you want to have the dumpers down, nor up. So they are fixed on the strings, because you are going to press just a little bit. And then you take a sticker and put it on the top of it, and I, as I suggested you in a previous video, I just lift a little bit one of the sides of the sticker. This is very useful because when you want to take them away, it is very easy. If you press the sticker a lot again against uh, dumpers, then you have to scratch and it will take a little bit of time and also it is not very good for the dumper. So this is something that you may, you may like to, to do. Also avoid trying to put them at the very end of the dumper because if you do a glissando across the strings it will happen many times that you will take the sticker with you or it will fall down to the soundboard. 
something that I would suggest that you don't do is mark the strings with a pen. Uh, if you are in your own piano, of course you can do it and it's no problem. In this way you will have always the exact position of the, of the different harmonics. But if you are in a piano that is not your own, you don't want to leave any traces of whatever you have done on the piano. So never, never mark the strings of the piano. You just have to use the sticker and mark exactly the precise point where the node is. Another thing that I would suggest is that you don't recycle the stickers because the glue is not very powerful so every time you use them once again the glue is, uh, is less effective so never recycle them. And the last advice I want to share with you is that if you happen to play a composition that has many notes inside of the instrument to be marked you may like to have a shim the written down with all the notes and with all the locations of the different stickers. So for instance, you, will, you could write something like C1 on the dumpers, inner side, or the C4 on the string, harmonic 4, or whatever system you would like. If you have a sheen of every single work and you have them on the same score, every time you come to the score, you will know exactly how to do it very fast. It is also very useful to uh, use different colors for different works when you have a concert with different pieces that use the inside of instrument. So for instance, you could use the yellow color for one piece or the green color for another one. This is something that I had used many times. Uh, but um, the system that I have found that is uh, more efficient for marking the strings when you have to play a lot of notes inside of a piano is marking all the piano in different positions, like for instance in all the A graphs and in all the dampers. It may seem quite a lot, but once you are used to it, it is not that much. I'm going to show you right now the process. So we are going to begin on the A graphs and then we will continue on the dampers. We are going to speed up a little bit the video so that it doesn't take too long. It has been a little bit less than five minutes and to take them away it will be something like one minute and a half. So you really want to take them away after you finish your study session. This is all I wanted to share with you related to stickers inside the piano. I hope you have enjoyed and have learned something. I'll see you in the next video. If you like the content of this channel and want to help us with it, follow the links below. Thanks a lot. <music>